Uh, my name is Levi Chazen. I'm a neuroradiologist at the Hospital for Special Surgery and the Director of Spine Imaging. Uh, I see patients who have uh, a variety of conditions, including pain. So that could be neck pain, back pain, leg pain, um, headache. Um, I also see patients who have um, uh, spinal fluid leaks. So their spinal fluid is leaking out of their spine to an area that's, that's uh, where it's not supposed to be, and that can cause uh, some symptoms such as headache. Um, and I also see patients who uh, just need diagnostic imaging for a variety of, of uh, conditions involving the, the spine and brain. Neuroradiology is a um, specialty of radiology that focuses on the nervous system. So that includes the brain, the spinal cord, uh, the structures of the head and neck. Um, it is a diagnostic field that um, relies a lot on MRI, but also CT, X-ray, uh, some other complementary modalities. But it also encompasses uh, image-guided interventions in those fields. So we use those imaging models we have, such as fluoroscopy, CT, MRI, to guide uh, needles into different parts of the body and do minimally invasive uh, treatments. Um, and we're really at the forefront of a broader trend in medicine towards less invasive and minimally invasive procedures. Some interventions, for example, used to involve an open surgery, incisions, a hospital stay, and now we're able to treat them with image guidance through a needle and send the patient home that same day. It's really a holistic approach, so it depends on the patient's presentation, primarily what's their chief complaint, what symptoms are they coming in with, uh, what do their laboratory values show, and uh, very importantly, what does their imaging show? Uh, you have to take all those things in conjunction to come up with an appropriate diagnosis, and once you have a diagnosis, that can prescribe the appropriate treatment plan. It's really nothing more satisfying. Um, uh, when a patient comes in, uh, particularly um, if they've had procedures or interventions at a different hospital that have been unsuccessful, if we're able to get to the correct, precise diagnosis and then treat them and relieve that patient's pain or discomfort, um, there's nothing more satisfying.